Urogynecology is the best of both worlds. It takes urology and gynecology and puts them together. And of course, anatomically, they're very together already. And I feel like the urogynecologist is the person, if you have problems with things falling out, if you have problems with your bladder or your bowel or painful intercourse or abnormalities of the pelvic floor, weakness or um, discomfort, the urogynecologist is just an ideal solution because that's not to say your gynecologist can't help you, your, your urologist can't help you, but we're kind of the one-stop shopping. I see probably three or four big topics. I see problems with bladder and bowel incontinence. I see painful sex. I see problems with things falling down. And then because urogynecology deals with these problems, I see a lot of problems with menopause. What's happening to the pelvic floor with menopause? I have been in practice almost 35 years, which I can't believe. I did an OBGYN residency and I practiced OBGYN in a small town for about five years. And then I became interested in academics and worked here at Denver Health for about 14, 15 years and did OBGYN. But I always loved urology. And at the time when I was growing up, there just were not any women urologists. And I wanted to take care of women. So of course, that's why I did OBGYN. And then the field of urogynecology developed just as my career did. And first there were apprenticeships. You know, you just went with somebody who did a lot of them. Even the founders of urogynecology. And then they started fellowships. And then finally, just six years ago, urogynecology became a recognized subspecialty. It's just a wonderful practice because you help so many people. And that's the best part of being a doctor is that it's kind of like a calling. You know, you take care of patients and you can help people and we're all gonna be patients, you know? And I want somebody who really cares about what happens to me when I need a doctor and so I wanna be sure to provide that. And when I started, there weren't many women, even in OBGYN. I was the only woman in my residency class, and now they're all women. So it, it's really evolved. And so at the time, it was also a statement of, I like the idea of women taking care of women. It's about the interaction between you and the patient and how you get to have the privilege of helping somebody in a hard time in their life.